Howdy! PSD and its shows are mostly supported by you guys. If you like what we do, make sure to rate the podcast wherever you listen, subscribe if you haven't, share your favorite moments and episodes with friends, and check out our Patreon if you want to give us some financial support, as well as getting a little something in return. All that stuff helps like you wouldn't believe. Thanks so much for everything, and we hope you enjoy this episode of Pondering Spooky Tapes. <laughs> Deepest and darkest of woods, where not even the light of the moon can penetrate. Two vile creatures indulge in dark delights and have conquered their comrades into capitulation. Now they wander these lands watching scary cinema, and there's a good chance you're next. Mandalore and Billy invite you to ponder some spooky tapes. <laughs> Welcome back to Pondering Spooky Tapes. I I made a whoopsie, and I, I gotta be honest, I, I made a little bit of a whoopsie. When I was a kid, I watched the Critters movies with my, 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 my grandpa. Oh man, we're all, that's how... <laughs> Dude, like, there, that was the energy. No, that yeah, was the yeah, exact no, energy tonight. Yeah, yeah, no, that was the energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I made a whoopsie. Um, so we're talking about critters today. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and we'll, we'll get into it, but I, I want to talk about the whoopsie that I made and why I made that whoopsie. Like right off. Let's, let's, let's start off right off the bat with the yeah. whoopsie. When I was a kid, I watched the critters movies a lot with my grandpa, Kevin, we would go over to his house, me and my brother, and we'd put those movies in and we'd fucking watch them and fall asleep to them. However, there were other schlocky horror movies that we would watch with him. And I would also watch with my brother outside of his house. One of those being leprechaun. Con for and one of those being Jason X. So in my head, <laughs> I've gotten all three of these movies. We figured out while watching Critters Four that um, Critters Four is kind of boring, and I accidentally got all four of all three of those other space movies mixed up with Critters Four. In my head, Critters Four was a much more interesting movie. So as a thirty-year-old for the yes. last fifteen years, fifteen to sixteen years, I've been recommending Critters Four to oh. a bunch of people. That's your favorite movie? <laughs> it's quite frankly great sleep aid. Nothing happens in it, but people act well. No, enough no, no. A woman stomps on a, eggs, and that um, sounds like it's somebody's fucking juggling, thing, dog. juggling. Uh, you get in the ship. I'll get the kids. You get the kids. I'll get the kids. You get the ship. Yeah, that's a good critters moment with the two critters. Ugg, Ugg gets punched and shot. Th this was supposed to be a critters four episode, but it kind of became just a critters retrospective because we did all like rewatch the movies before going in. And all on our own, like except for four. Like we all watched four together. No, but. I watched. Uh, did I think we watched one and two together, man? Yeah, and I, I missed. I missed yeah. three. But oh, you missed that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was kind of the same thing as Brendan, where I think I remembered some like kills from either Jason X or Leprechaun. I think there might be like three minutes of critters because I was sitting there going like, oh, I don't, remember, I don't remember this movie at all. Like, I wonder why. <laughs> as it because starts it going, takes I went thirty-five minutes for the oh critters to God. fucking get anything done and then you don't see them again for another 35 minutes it was truly one of the most boring fucking movies i've and it was seen. such and a shame it's, it's really weird because as we were saying like we we rewatched one. one you know what let's, yeah, let's just talk with, about critters okay. one we'll get yeah. to four at the end here because it, it is the least deserving of discussion yeah. so i i thought i watched i because i've been talking about it on the show and I've been saying like, oh yeah, I really like. I I I remember watching Critters. I realized as I was watching Critters that I did not watch Critters. I've never fucking seen Critters. Wow, the I was one and two are the. Best. But I I watched behind the scenes uh, videos and documentaries. Maybe you saw Munchies. Yeah, no, I did not. <laughs> I own munchies. We watched Critters 1 and 2 and honestly like I was I was so fucking into those movies. They're great. Critters 1 is fantastic. It's such a good setup. Critters 1 to 2 is a great ramp up. It is such a good ramp up and it is it does something with its tone that is so perfect. Like it, it feels like it's going to be a kids movie, but it's not a kids movie. It's like I it's got that Amblin Amblin Entertainment is that what it's called? Amblin what? Amblin like the sleeping eight ambient? ambient? No, Amblin. No, Amblin Entertainment. Oh, I was thinking of Ambien like a sleeping no, no. aid because Critters Four is boring. Oh, Steven Spielberg. Like it, it, okay, Amblin, no, well, right. it was. <laughs> I just 
type of ambient on the mind. I'm Amblin. sorry. No, Amblin, like uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, right. production company. Right. Because it, it did have like, it did have that thing that Amblin does where it's like, they're not kids movies, but they have like, there's something about those movies like Gremlins where it's like, it, it's not for movies, but uh, for kids, but you can, like a kid can probably watch it and still feel good about it. I don't know. It's just like the tone of these movies is so specific. Like it's going it, to, they're going to say shit and fucking have blood, but it's also like lighthearted and fun so that a kid could watch it without being too scared and have a really good time. How I, how I remember telling somebody else, I, I was talking with a friend. I was like, I, the Critters movie, honestly, like if you have a kid and you have a kid that likes being scared, but not like horrified like you know kids like being scared sometimes i i was like critters is really perfect for that critters 2 critters 1 is a bit more uh scary i guess because it is in the dark and they, it, it is like a family that goes through a lot of stuff critters say fuck critters say fuck they eat beans and fart and uh they explode into weird gushy bloody messes and it's really fun I think I think if you have a kid that likes scary stuff, they would really like Critters. It's a great beginner horror movie. Yeah, that's my take on Critters One. It's just good. the 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 acting is fantastic as well. Like all the, it's because it's like a lot of little drama between all the family members, and it's really believable. It, it has the same thing Simpsons has, where it's like a very believable family, and everybody's like likes each other, and you can tell that they love each other. You know. It's nice. It's just goddamn nice. I really like uh, Critters 1, but mostly because it may be one of my favorite, like, it came from outer space stories because of, like, yes. how dumb it is and how dumb the Critters move. Like, the, the way that... Uh, the way that they have the movement set up is just the simple, like, fucking balls of fur rolling around so that they can just yes. have shots of just balls of fur rolling around instead of having the critters, uh, the uh, like, move around uh, crazy style. And you don't have to do a lot of, like, animatronic work yeah. with them because critters is inherently yeah, cheaper. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're puppets. Yeah. They're fantastic puppets made by the Chiodo brothers. They're fantastic puppets. And, and they can be... They can be simple with the rolling balls of fur because then they get to the static shot and the critters are actually moving or flying and it's always done really well and one starts it off. Before watching this, I always thought like, oh, they're they're cute. You know, they're interesting to look at. But now I'm like, man, I kind of like I kind of like them more than gremlins. I just think their design is so fun and they're so silly. The the quills are a really fun addition. They have so much more personality than Gremlins in in some scenes, you know. Except for Gremlins two. I mean, Gremlins, Gremlins two. Ex Gremlins two. Except Gremlins two is yeah. No, Gremlin Gremlins one. Yes, Gremlins two. No, I would agree with that. Um, and also like I mean, it depends because I, Critters two also amps it up like crazy. Yeah, but they, then, they both amp it up. Gremlins two is like fucking psychotic in the greatest way yeah every gremlin was unique in gremlins 2 versus like critters 2 where it's like everything is more ramped up but it wasn't as uh, like on the level like critters will never be as much as i love critters this is this has to be said critters will never be on the level of gremlins it just it won't i think on some levels yes but only the first movie uh the the first two movies and probably only the second movie because i do think the second movie is better than the first gremlins Oh, for sure. Yeah. I have a bit that that might be a hot take for some it people. It is not for me. It, no, it is so good. It's ridiculous how good two yeah, is. Yeah, but I love it in Gremlins where the Gremlins attack the town and Critters is just that again. Gremlins two is like the bar scene from one, but it's most of the movie. It, it's most of the second half of that movie that the second half of that movie is just a ramp up that never fucking ends. And then it <laughs> ends with a, a literal giant ramping up of fucking Critters into a giant ball the going Orbe. through the city. It's amazing. It goes The Critter Katamari, the Critter Mari. They literally do a fucking Critter Mari. It's so Oh my sick. god, can we talk about in one, two? I just I want to make sure that we talk about one 
and and yeah, yeah, also yeah, the, sure. the the alien aspect of critters that uh the the, the, the bounty, bounty hunters, hunters yes the bounty hunters in one and two not three and four because they're basically barely relevant except for Charlie. three and four they're not in there Ugg, Ugg is the only one that comes they're back in there but they're not really yeah Ugg, Ugg comes back but they're not really that relevant because it's just like oh it's about charlie 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 by the way is a character that is consistent throughout all the critters movies he's like the, he's bert gummer yeah he's the bert gummer of critters yeah, yeah that's the best explanation um but critters won the bounty hunters i love 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 the disgusting mashed potato heads on the bounty hunters and this idea that like wherever they go they transform into like who who lives there but then they kind yeah. of like half give it up later in critters where it's just like oh yeah but they only turn yeah. into humans it, it's it's lame because they critters show us the one alien two. with critters one yeah they show critters alien one with and them. two the the effects look great and they have amazing moments of just the aliens trying to understand like human culture, but like it, it's not in the like, oh my god, he doesn't know how to drink the water, and he put he tried to drink the water, he spilled it on himself. It's not like ET or It's not, e it's or not Mac like that. Me. Yeah, yeah. It's like really fucking funny. Like they, they basically fuck with people by at, without knowing, and it's it's just so fucking well written it's disappointing that they just straight up give up they yeah. like critters three and four just do not do it oh, it's really disappointing i especially because the bounty hunters were like some of the best gags and some of the best moments in the first yeah. and second movie like and oh is, so, is he gonna be man dark the whole movie no it felt so important to to the entirety of critters for the the, the bounty hunters to exist it's like it's idiot and then this the three was uh, evil dead cries because uh, the basically evil dead like, crites crites because we, we should clarify the critters yes. the critters alien name they were referred to as the crites, crites. the criters get it you get it there is an escalation between the movies you know it goes from uh critters attack the house to critters attack the town to critters well, it's, attack it's, the it's, 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 it's actually it's house town apartment building spaceship like yeah that. they really i mean <laughs> like it's, yeah it's like okay house town and then you think okay let's get large let's go city but no it's like they don't have the apartment budget apartment building where leonardo dicaprio lives no he doesn't he he's the son oh, no of, he yeah, doesn't yeah, live yeah. his dad owns it that's right his stepdad his stepdad owns it and they just kill him too like they just kill his stepdad i mean he was a piece of shit so whatever he was like a landlord true true I, I, zero sympathy he was also like evicting them he was he had one of the worst deaths in those fucking movies honestly and i kind of respect it you can really tell that it goes from like this is a new line cinema movie to this is a new line home video movie from two to three yeah and then three yeah. and four were literally shot like next to each other like back the, to back and the appara apparently they were filmed just straight up at the same time yeah they were like yeah. right there right there back to back like filmed right away at the same time and then i think four you can tell which director was allowed to have time with the puppets and which did not time and and budget with the puppets yeah because uh critters four like we said just does not have the crites the Kreitz show up for like maybe maybe 10 minutes. The entirety of an hour and 45 minute movie. It's bad. Like, is Critters 4 the longest one too? No, I don't think so. Critters movies run time. It feels like it is. It feels like it, the longest. Well, it just does not fucking uh, end. Critters. Okay, so Critters 1 run time, right? Yeah. 1 hour 26. That's short. Critters 2 run time, 1 hour 34. Critters 3 run time. It's what it's one forty five is what I'm finding 145. online. One forty five. One. It is the oh, longest. Why? Nothing happens. It is the oh longest Critters movie, and it is the worst one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, uh, I love the bit in one. I always I always want to talk about this because it's my favorite like Critters bit maybe like um where the house gets destroyed by the end of the movie. And oh my god yeah the it's house so gets funny. destroyed by the end of the freaking movie and the alien bounty hunters press the fix the house button on their spaceship and the house slowly reforms back together through the power of space magic <laughs> it's so fucking good oh. also like also um critters one and two have, 
actually a lot of continuation together because uh, the little boy from the first movie comes back as the main character of the second movie, much like Melvin in Tremors. <laughs> if only... <laughs> release the ug cut no no, no. that'd be the worst <laughs> that would be the fucking worst what's the name of the what's the name of the little ginger boy i don't remember from four or from two from what two? The from Easter one. One? i don't remember uh, brad brad oh the grind yeah the grind yeah. the Did grind you know that, that kid plays uh he's the one that plays the little boy in uh american dad oh. what's his name steven Steve? Yeah, he plays Steven. Steve. He plays Steven Steve. Yeah. Wow. He, yeah. Morning, USA. I got a critters that it's going to be a wonderful day. Did you know he was 52? Isn't that weird? He's 52 and he voices a little boy. We should point That's at him so and yell strange. old when we see him. We should walk him to his house, find his address, point at him and yell old. Uh, this will never backfire. Oh, shit. You know what? I was just, just thinking um, critters too. Uh, another good moment about the critter katamari ball isn't there a bit where it runs over a guy and it eats him and it leaves a skeleton behind dude? yes it's such a good bit dude it's so good it, it's so it's so lo there's so much looney tune garbage happening and it's always so fun in one and two especially which is why it's like there there's like a the bunny through the church oh, there's there's just a definite split between one and two and three and four like three and four are unwatchable except for like unless you want to see like young leonardo dicaprio no 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 okay no uh i was watching three with cicada and we were fucking laughing our ass off at the second half okay the true. second half has a lot of great moments like the fucking critters bowling <sighs> that shit was so fucking funny isn't it weird how like the critters quills they just paralyze people and then in three they just they, make people they goofy. make them high they, make, yeah, them they goofy. Just make them high and then in four the critters don't even shoot a single quill no it's it, it's so weird because the, the, con the continued in shitification of the critters yeah it, it's I, I just don't know man it's <laughs> the shitification yeah the, the continued in shitification of the critters it just really feels like they they gave up at one point on like all these interesting things that the critters could do it's just so sad though because like the 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 spaceship and a lot of the effects in four like so there's so there's much so fucking interesting to look at about it, four that is visually interesting but it's just so boring i'm gonna be honest like critters four i feel like we keep going back to critters four well, yeah, we we watched watched it. Watched it. but so, like, like yeah but yeah there's one thing about critters four and i think it's like everybody does such a good job except it's a movie that is so boring because everything about it, it, it just really works. Like the acting, the is acting works before surprising. critters show up. But then critters show up, and you, and you can't do that anymore because there are now critters here. The acting is insane because it's a bunch of people, like high caliber actors, performing way above the caliber of the movie they're in. You got Brad Dorif, you got the drug dealer yeah. guy from Twin Peaks, and they were, uh, dude, they are acting their ass off for this project that just is not worth the acting cut that they're putting and the the set design is fantastic the gore effects are fantastic like that first kill too even though it happens 30 minutes in where the critter like the the critter literally chokes i mean it's him also out. the only good kill it's yeah. also the only good kill well no well, there's the okay oh, the last one is so pretty funny there's the last kill where the critter gets frozen and i think that's where i realized the moment i realized where i confused these movies because yeah. jason x critters and Leprechaun, Leprechaun 4 all have a kill and they're all sci-fi movies where they have a kill where uh, where the, a creature or a man is frozen and then broken with like a uh, liquid nitrogen. They all have yeah. a liquid nitrogen kill. Like they're all connected in that. Yep. At least they're all not critter. You know what? Out of all four of these movies, they're not critters attack. So we're all good on that. You've se Have you seen critters attack? It's got a critter that's like... um. Gizmo from Gremlins. It's a good critter. Are you serious? There's a good yeah, critter. There's a good. Critter. I don't like that. There there's shouldn't a, be there, good. There's critter. a white critter. They got. A <laughs> it's white. They got a white critter. Isn't there a? Isn't there a white critter in? Critters three and his name is Blackie for some no, reason. No, that's the that's when they tried to like do like a Gremlins bit to make another unique critter. Yeah, but they just literally I think gave him a white stripe like a spike. No, 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 no. He gets bleached. Yeah, he gets bleached. Yeah, and then at one point he screams. And the other critters are like, we got to help Blackie. And then they run after him. Uh, 
this this I don't fucking this, know that if they were going to do anything with critters four more chatter with the critters was probably needed i think critters three actually has more chatter than four i mean critters three has all of the critters, yeah i but. i I, feel, I mean the, it's hard to criticize a movie that was done on a fucking home video budget compared to critters two which was made on an actual like theater like big budget well big budget it's still like it's still critters let's not get crazy here but you know what i mean like they they did what they could with uh, i mean i don't even know that it's just it, it it's really the scripts it's just yeah. the scripts just do not work there's just no set pieces either for like a no <clears throat> for, for a space movie they have the they have the jettison bay which is the star wars Basically, the trash compactor. Yeah. Because they're like, like, oh, what if we had gremlins with the vibe of Alien? Where it's like, what are you talking about? So like they have like the computers, like the lights on them. It looks just like the Nostromo com- like displays. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we have we have Ugg showing up with his goons, just like Bishop showing up in Alien Three. It's like we're here to get the creature, but it's just like you you can't really do this with critters. The funny the funny critter thing they do is they go on the computer, I guess, for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they go. They, they hack type a on computer. It. I, that's like the only hint of personality they have like in three one one burps and farts and eats like dish soap and beans yeah, he eats dish soaps and beans and then they they throw cream pies at each other like there's at least i it, like it's fucking stupid it's completely fucking stupid but at least it's funny at least it's something and it's funny <laughs> you know i just it's so i still think it's, it's not okay well no it's not worth a watch but i still think one two and three are worth a watch in fact, I, I'd urge people to watch Critters two and one and two just because they follow each other. Imme- like the mo- like that's one thing actually. One and two, and four and, uh, and three. It's and a four, great follow up. It's a classic up the stakes. No, movie. they literally follow each other up immediately. Like the movie ends and then the second movie picks up right after. Oh wait, no, no, it's, there's it's a not time right after. In, there's there's a time there's jump a time because jump they sell the home. That's right. Yeah, 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 that's right. He, uh, one wrong. of the kids, uh, is it the boy comes back to yeah. help grandma, yeah, yeah, basically? Yeah. yeah. And they're checking out the old farmhouse, and a couple of a couple of nerds find the eggs, and they're like, whoa, egg, huh? And then aren't they painting the eggs in Critters too? They're painting them up as Easter baskets. As yeah, Easter eggs. Oh, yeah, it's an Easter movie. It's an Easter, yeah, it's yeah, an Easter it's movie. Because Critters 2 is yeah. great because it's a horror, it's an Easter horror movie, but it doesn't have like, what if the Easter bunny fucking killed you? What if the Easter bunny ate? You no, it's just Easter, but man in Easter bunny costume goes through the window during church, dead, and they go, "Holy shit!" I'm surprised that n- there hasn't been the, one of the movies. There's just somebody who's like, "I'm gonna make a big omelet with this crite egg." <laughs> like, why isn't there an omelet? Yeah, gag? Why, why? What? What? What's up with the like? There need a three. You know what? That's actually three and four don't have a lot of great egg gags. I don't think, except for the juggling. Four has the juggling gag, and that's it. I I don't even know about calling it a gag. gag. It's just a callback to, we have to show the kid juggling at the beginning of the movie and then bring it back so that you know how he juggles. Yeah, all he does is threaten a man by juggling, which is like... He literally threatens Ugg by juggling. The consequences of your actions. I'll drop more eggs. I'll drop an egg if you don't give me the... What did... What, what, I, oh, he's I, just I'm, stalling. He's just yeah, stalling. So, so he, he can gets throw it out and then pull out a gun to hit him with the gun. Oh, that's right. Yeah, shoot him later, right. though. <laughs> They might as well have just shot him like they during might that as well bit, though. No, but he they shot to have the standoff between Ugg and Charlie for the last time. And then Charlie puts on sunglasses and goes, yippee, yippee, wow, 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 wow. Do they even West. elaborate on why Ugg was evil? Well, Ugg was just, it just he joined the company, so Ugg is bad now. Four has a problem, and like this is why I think primarily we'll probably talk about Four for this movie, because like one and two are just sick. They're freaking awesome, but like we didn't just watch them. Four has a a, a problem where they do not explain or, or tell you anything in this movie oh, the, to the detriment of the movie. You just are supposed to like keep up with it. And then it doesn't tell you anything. Like they're just like, yeah, well, this kid is, yeah, he's there on this ship. An apprentice, the father thing, like him being an apprentice and him having like a weird father relationship with Brad his, Dorf. Yeah. It, Al Burt. Al Burt. Al fuck, Space Burt. Fuck this movie for doing that. That's so stupid. Fuck you. What do you guys <laughs> think about Angela, the AI, where they'd be like, uh, Angela, do not do this thing. And Angela would be like, okay, I will do this thing. I just don't get it. Pretty cool, right? I mean, I, I, I dead ass don't get it, but I, fe- I, I don't know if I'm the dumb one on that one. I think they were trying to do like a logic joke, but they didn't actually 
write the joke. <laughs> There's so many times where the movie looks at the audience is like clever, huh? And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? You just showed me, you just showed me like nothing. Critters for Critters 4 is like watching a movie while it's buffering on YouTube and it keeps skipping ahead 10 seconds, just glossing over important details. And you're like, what, what? Yeah, the, How did that, what? Uh, yeah, my inter- I, I got to reset my, I got to reset my router. I'm on dial up right now. Like what happened? What? Yeah, man. If wait, anything, wait. this movie should have been two hours so that I, you could add the fucking context <laughs> for most things. Like, well, it just, it starts off with the, the kid fuck? and this crew and you're like, okay, what's going on? And if you're not watching, like, I think the calendar explains it. Like he's going to earth, but like, yeah, they don't really do anything with that until like the kid and Charlie are talking 35 minutes later. Uh, so it's I don't a lot know of like, why they're going to Earth uh, to the and I don't, to, for the kid to see Earth. He's an apprentice for engineer. Well, when I watched this back in the day, like as a kid, I just yeah. always assumed that Albert was his stepdad. And I, I got it in my head that the plot was, oh, he's going back to Earth to see his mom or like a family member. Like, oh, I get this. But, but no, it's not. It's That's just, the thing. It's nothing. He's going back to Earth to go back to Earth. And like, I had to literally look but at the Wikipedia ca- where it explains I, I that he's get- an apprentice to Albert for like engineering. And I'm like, but that still uh, doesn't make sense because why would he be counting the literal, like he literally fucking counting the days to get back to this movie feels like a whole section was, were like ripped out of it. I don't know. Cause the, Parts are just like there. Jump, are, are are they jumbled? Are but they like there? not on the. Here's the thing: the parts were cut out of like the script, and it wasn't like not out of the movie itself. Like they weren't shot. They was. It felt like okay, this we're gonna do this, 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 and it's like oh, we don't have the critter puppets for this. Uh, well, okay, well, yeah, let's just cut all this part out oh, of the script man. and then run with what we have. <laughs> oh, we can't have critter scenes and critters for what do we do? It's like no cool aliens and no cool robots and uh, I I. Critters Four because is because everybody in Critters Four, everybody is just dressed as like and somebody like from it, the nineties. Somebody from the night. There's like no like great like cool sci-fi outfits that they're just wearing polos. They have the beam they're guns though. Polo they have the shirts. beam gun. No, they have a revolver. No, they have the beam gun at the start. Oh, you're the right. The captain that's has the beam right. gun, and then Charlie yes, either breaks right, it or the critter, right. the critter breaks it, and the critters run away. And you're like, oh my god, the beam gun. And then it's like, what happened to the beam gun? Is Charlie? Did we just forget that Charlie was like an engineering guy in this movie too? By the way, yes. Charlie, we have to explain. Charlie is the throw line through this movie. He is the he is the number one critter oh, guy. He's the boy? Bert Gummer. No, Charlie. Oh, yeah. Charlie Oh, Harley. Right. Sorry. Bounty Sorry. Hunter. The Critters guy. Yeah. In the first movie, he's like a farmhand who's like a little skilled at mechanical engineering. And he's like, oh, let me help you try to fix your slingshot. He's a little dumb, but like he can work on machines a little bit and be like, oh, let's figure this out. And then in by like three, he has a gun that uses cans of beans to fire lasers at the crates. They're like, okay, <laughs> so this guy knows what the hell is up, right? Like he pops up yeah. in all the Critters movies. He basically gets recruited by the bounty hunters after one. And then in two, he's like with them. And then three, he has his own critter gun that shoots cans of beans out in, in brap blasts. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, you're right. But they are. He puts cans of beans but in there and they fire true. a brap blast. Listen, it, it's true, but it's not called a brap blast. I call please. it my brap beam. No. My farticular no. cannon. No. Farticle cannon. But he is like, they show oh. how competent he is. And he actually grew as a person. And he's like... This is his calling, and they make sure that you know that this is his calling. And then in four, he's a fucking, he's a fuck up. He's a wet blanket fuck up that does <sighs> nothing except he like. He friends them. Do you remember when he cry? shows up and they have Critters Adventures and then for a little bit and then they go, he goes, next year is 1993. And we have to do like the, this is the future, even though that's, that's like, it's what, two thirds into the movie. It is super far in to do that. Yeah. It's 45 minutes into the movie. It's like, why isn't Charlie they, showing up in the first five minutes with Critter stuff? And they go, you're in the future. And he goes, what the? The movie starts like, th- how many times does the movie start? Like three, three or four, four times? Oh, yeah. It, it, it felt like the movie started like four times, five times, because you have the the beginning with well, you, the beginning with Charlie, and then he gets into the pod, and he's like, whoa, and then he goes into space. 45 years. Okay. Beginning two, kid is juggling in the ship. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, beginning three, they get to the space station to try to haggle for the pod they found with Charlie and the critters in it. And you're like, okay, they're just hanging out. They'll 
lady pilot is showering. The, the captain is being a weirdo freak. Uh, okay, beginning four, the critters finally attack. We're 40 minutes into the movie, and the movie has felt like it started four more times. Beginning five, it feels like the movie restarts again when Ugg gets there with his fucking stormtroopers. It's like, oh, okay, are we, like, is there is there more? Like, I'm like, okay, and then the movie is, like, over, and you're like, what? All right. Yeah. And not in, like, a fun way. You're like, oh, okay, all right. It's so, it, what a strange fucking movie i just critters for who is critters for truly who is critters for for who is critters for for like it's not for critters fans it's not for new people because they still are using no. the title critters for it's just like it's not scary at all and also they're continuing from they're continuing from the other movie all and of yeah. reference that budget and time yeah. and energy could have been used to just make critters three better Everything about Critters 4, they could have just used to make Critters 3 bigger, larger, yeah. better. I'm not surprised that Critters 4 killed the franchise Until for 2019. When, when they made Critters Attack. Wait, was that the one that was a web series? No, Wasn't Critters there Attack web... was a direct to DVD movie in 2019. It was the last Critters movie. They like I don't, I don't think back. I've seen Critters Attack. I thought Shutter sh didn't Shutter have like a I think there was a web series as well. There was like a web series yeah. of Critters, I believe. Yeah. I don't know. We I, obviously we didn't we we didn't have time to watch all of that stuff. That there's so much. No, because I think Critters Attack is a soft reboot too. Anyway, like it's a oh, is it? Yeah, it's like a soft like oh, the critters and they're back, and it's like okay, the critters are back and they're space. fucked up. The best part about Critters Four is genuinely the fucking poster where the critters are near the moon, and it says in space they love to hear you scream. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. that's a great fucking poster. They love to hear you cream. And like the worst part is there are more critters on the poster than there are in the movie. There's only two in the movie. No, there's technically oh, there's more, three. but like no, there's like eight, oh, but like the they end. all are in like yeah. the they're all in the room with the stormtroopers and then they don't do anything with no, them. No, that's not true. They explode, but off screen. That's the uh, thing. Oh, yeah, they all blow There's up. There's so many kills and other things like that that are just off screen. What's the point? Oh, Critters 4. How would you do? Why would you do this? Why would you, why would you do this? Why would I do this? And you know what's the most fucked up part? Complete. I completely forgot. Like I just forgot. It almost became Gooby again for a moment in the beginning. It did. It did. No. Billy. Billy tricked. Billy <laughs> no. tricked us again. It was, it, we had Goob Town come up again. It was a reverse trick. I was like talking about in the commentary track. I'm talking about like, oh, like God, that I, the the reason I couldn't remember this movie is because like I the reason the Gooby bit got me is because like it, it's it, I haven't seen it since I was a kid and like I wasn't thinking about it and I was so like ripped out of it and then it starts happening again and Goob Town appears and the Gooby logo appears and I'm like no 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 and then it's, it just keeps playing Critters Four and if I was in person with Billy I would have punched him really hard in the arm at that point like I would have just like fucking no bap, you wouldn't have punch me i would have punched no that was a friendly punch. that was deserving of a friendly punch i would have friendly you would have grabbed you. me and fucking threw me to i would the have threw you out the window screamed. like the easter bunny and critters too i would have fucking tossed you around <laughs> like a big bag of salad oh brendan fuck. attacks the billy no the real prank is gooby did not start playing the real yeah, yeah we didn't get it, it was it just was, critters four but like during the whole time too, the first 30 minutes of critters because it was so slow i was just like is it gonna happen again well, well, it's just, just like a different goobie. movie. Is it going to turn into Ernest Scared Stupid and like we're just going to have a great time? <laughs> no, I, I wish I did No, I was like, oh God, I hope Gooby shows up. <laughs> yeah, please please be my dad. Of please Critters be my 4. dad. Critters 4 had me begging for Goob. <laughs> That's how bad this movie is, right? It's like... Scoopy is bad. We, we were all wishing for Goob. Maybe we did like him being our dad a little bit. Just a little bit. There is bad and there is good. And this is the worst. This is the worst where it's in between where it's just boring. Is it Stockholm? <laughs> yeah. Do we have Gooby Stockholm syndrome? Do we, we have, have a like being your dad syndrome? Goobom, goobom, go, 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 go. No, I would call it secret hole syndrome because every Ooh, boy has hole. one. Oh, right. Oh, oh right. And, we, and, and we're, yeah. three, we're three syndrome. special boys. Us three. We're three special boys. All right. Brendan question. Ah, uh, here let's, we are. Let's pull one out of my ass. Ooh. Gremlins is is oftentimes compared to critters. I don't think it's a completely fair comparison, but of course, creatures I mean, things yeah. are happening. So like it's 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 comparative in the mind. If anything, like, it's closer to hobgoblins and true. ghoulies. Oh <laughs> fucking! <laughs> and I made the movie watch hobgoblins. 
Even Hobgoblins is better than Hobgoblins is a piece of shit, but it is entertaining at the very least. It's, oh, they have magic and they make magic things happen, but sometimes they just push your car over a cliff. Brendan question. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you could Gremlins 2 the Critters? Like make it meta? No, 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 no. If you could Gremlins 2 the Critters, what fucked up critter would you want in a Critters movie? I oh, eat. you mean There's like giving a vegetable critter- gremlin? There's the spider uh, gremlin. What gremlin would you? What what embodiment? What what oh, okay. what what personage and power would you want inside of a critter? If the critters did that, gooner. A goon I don't critter? want a gooner critter. I want a gooner critter. You want Fuck a critter it. with a big neck beard and like a samurai yes. sword in the back, and he's like janking yes. his jonkles every day, yeah. all day. He's joking his peanuts every fucking way. He's jankling his jonkles. He's jonkling his jankins. Yeah, and 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 everybody, every other critter really fucking hates him and throws cream pies at him or something. They throw like big a pies at him. They they throw an they throw anvils at him. I want a clown car critter. Clown car critter. <laughs> oh, where like it, the cr- the critter rolls, then when it unrolls, there's a bunch of smaller critters that come out of it. Ah, uh, like the grenade in resistance with the needles. Yeah, the hedgehog grenade. Yeah, but critters, and they're all little clowns too. You know what I'm gonna say. Ooh. Mm, Put tits on a critter. Do it. Oh, Put grits on you, that critter. You know what? You know what? Fuck, fucking yeah, dude. Put fucking some boobs on yeah, that dude. critter. A, Yassify put a, put that tata. critter. Put a tata on that. Get fucking, that critter a Stanley water bottle. Give that fucking critter some surgery on the face. Give him fucking both. Give that critter duck lips. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Make fucking that critter give a big wet smooch ass. to somebody. Yeah. Make that fucking critter a bimbo. Bimbify that critter. Bimbify that Total critter. Total critter's <laughs> bimbofication. Bimbofication, dude. I want that. Give it fat fucking lips, dude. Make it smack its lips at Make the fucking it smack protagonist. Its lips and like. <laughs> at one of the bounty hunters and the bounty hunters their lips yeah, make it, make big it and smack, round oh make it smack it's fucking lips at ug you're right <laughs> just have a just have a whale critter fuck it oh, no, no. Can you imagine <laughs> it can float off the ground <laughs> <laughs> oh dude i i i is there a is there a critters that do, do one of the critters like I feel I don't know why, but like I'm in my head. Does one of the critters inflate in one of the movies where they like pop? Yes, uh, isn't that two? I think don't it, they pop I don't one and two. Oh no, they boil one and two. One, boil one and two. I don't know if it's one or two, but I'm pretty sure there's an exploding, inflating one. Did did it, was it? Am, am I crazy? Or there's what, a did, deep fried did, critter. Did he in two? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Because I was in my head. I don't know why I was thinking. Wasn't there one that ate popcorn and then like? exploded from popcorn i'm probably crazy there was a w- there was a gremlin and gremlins one they threw in the microwave that exploded i might be okay. mixing i am looking at a comprehensive every every critter death and how they are <laughs> you found a i found a comprehensive there there's a, a there's comprehensive a, guy there is actually so critters one here are the critter deaths and critters one all right let's okay. let's rattle through them right critters one blown up by an m80 one of them got blown up uh the second one shot yeah. third one crushed by a fan oh, i remember that fourth one shot Fifth one, I don't, it, it just says, went, I think exploded. Yeah, just yeah, blown up, blown up, blown up, blown up. So that's one. Two is squished, squished, splattered, blown up, deep fried, shot, crushed, and blown up. Uh, And then Critters 3, flare? Because it was, doesn't, one of them yeah, eats a flare, one that, right? Yeah, uh, one of them eats a flare and become a flare. Yep, Uh, blown up, blown up, decapitated, Uh, shot, and skewered. Uh, the last one... Was named Bleach and was uh, skewered by an antenna. Yeah. Wait, his name was Bleach. Yeah, there so was there was two? there was Bleach. The one with the weird eye and the white stripe that looked like Spike was so apparently named right. Bleach. Okay. Or Scar? No, so, Scar. Scar. Sorry. Wait, but who the fuck is Blackie? Why is this named Bleach then? Uh, Blackie is a different is, one. Oh. But I'm looking at a wiki for a different show. So like it what? depends on yeah this is the dead meat wiki apparently. Did, oh, did they dead have meat, all of them listed? Did yeah. Dead meat. Did dead, dead meat did all the make critters, a video? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there could be arguments over what they're actually called. Ooh, there could be. I don't yep, know. There may be fan. There may be some fan fights about the critters' names. Ooh, and then, you, you know what? There should be. There should be fan fights between Dead Meat and us. We, yeah, should, we should start that. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna die. They're gonna destroy us. Do you know how oh, many chain destroy- wallets I can hear in the air right now? <laughs> no, <laughs> they're fucking wiggling them around. I'm fucking they're, horrified. They're, There's they're, chains they're, everywhere. They're in the streets, like sh- swinging them around oh like God. a mace. 
This is oh, a joke. No. I love what. Uh, to be fair, I love dead meat. I like watching the kill counts. So this is there is no real beef. Please don't kill. I've me. never seen any no, of it. No, it's like the only podcast I listen. I really like it. I like it they're, because they're, they go yeah, through production. They're, of they're, a lot they're of simple, the and you can watch a little bit about yeah. production. And like, you, you don't have to watch yeah. some horror movies. You can just enjoy like here are the kills. Some dude. of them are not worth it. I'm gonna be out, dude. Watch one, two, three of Critters, and then go watch their video on fucking Critters Four. You'll get the full experience. I assure yeah. you. Like it, that's probably the the best way. I would to still say watch it. Critters Two because the reveal of the Katamari. Is oh no, amazing. of course. What? No, no. I, I what I just said was watch one, two, and three. Watch, watch what? Yeah, watch one, two, and three, one, and then two, watch and a video. Then, you know what? Just listen yeah. to us talk about four because it's boring you can dude. watch one and two honestly you can just watch yeah. one and two only watch three three is only watchable to be like whoa leonardo dicaprio no, was in the this bowling movie. is fucking awesome and the bowling is awesome and you got bubbles yes. who eats the he eats they got the suds the laundry room hijinks yeah that's one and that, fat lady fall down and you're like oh, oh my god when, dude, dude, dude okay can i be honest when the fat lady fall down i fucking pissed myself i bet you were I giggling not, shitting and farting with i fat lady fall dude down. i could not stop thinking about how much she reminded me of a Ford Bronco. <laughs> no, stop. <What? laughs> stop. Stop. Stop Ford. it. Stop. I'm going to throw you. I'm going to shove you so hard into a locker that you'll be able to smell math assignments for an entire week. You're going to reek of fucking math, you fucking I'm going nerd. to time travel and bully you in oh, high school. Fuck. Not for any real bullyable reasons. I'm just going to throw VHS copies of Critters 3 at Oh, you. my God. <laughs> I won't even know what that is. I'll just exactly. be like, what the fuck? But you're going to be fucking, why is this giant man like chasing me around and throwing big VHS copies of a movie at me? And I'm going to be like, the you deserve man. this. You deserve this. It's going to be me as the handsome man appearing, no, operating in front no. of you. Going, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the handsome fucking, man. That would be so horrifying. Yeah, he's so handsome. Fuck. No, he's horrifying. Pull up a picture of the handsome man. He's so handsome. There he is. That's the handsome That's man. Me. The handsome man with the handsome plan. Nice things. What can we say nice about Critters 4 aside from like I the mean, sets? We did, I think we did say a lot of nice things. Did I, we? I do think everybody has good act. Like the acting is fantastic with what they have, with what they have, with what I they I like have. how grimy sci-fi looks in yeah. Critters 4. We, we talked about that in the commentary a little bit. Yeah. I like how grimy sci-fi could be in the 90s compared to the now where so much sci-fi is like clean. And then like, uh, like especially at the time period too with budget movies, um, sometimes you're watching a show and one thing I really hate in, in like general in Hollywood too is the amount of people that get fucking veneers. So you're watching like a sci-fi show and there's like some grungly, scrungly guy, but then he has clean, perfect, fresh white teeth and you're like, yeah. what are you? It's time to dude, what? Get, get back into like, I don't, not grungy sci-fi not like crusty sci-fi but just like this type of sci-fi where it's like it's in it, it's kind of imperfect the machines are like old as fuck it's wild that the most grungy sci-fi movie that i've seen that is the most like almost realistic where it felt like it was a real human like situation was the goddamn adam sandler space spider movie excuse me did you not know about adam sandler oh did that come out movie that it released it came out yeah wait what, 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 is, what is this what is this adam sandler's it is a space an adam sandler explorer. movie where he talks to a space spider yeah space man yeah a big spider appears to him and goes, it, hey, it, it is played 100% serious too. And it oh, is I'm all looking right. at it right now. That is, that does look like grungy, right? Real. Yeah, the, but the, it, it doesn't look grungy in the way where it's like gross, gross crusty, it, broken yeah, it everything. Just grungy it, it's in the way just, that it's real. It just looks real. If you want grunge, get District 9, anything Neil Blomkamp. Even Elysium is a dirty, dirty, dirty sci fi movie. They're just rolling in mud. Yeah. But it's less about rolling in mud and looking like shit. It's more about like being lived in because nothing is going to stay pristine forever. I, yeah, I, all these I, spaceman I, sets actually look like the fucking space shuttle. Yeah. So you got wires hanging out. Yeah. It's like how in Star Trek TNG, it's clean, but like you can see the vacuum marks on the carpet. Like I. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Like it, there, it, there's something about it that feels like it's real and lived in instead of and being like. Critters 4 does that excellently they do people it, it, lived in this house i don't i'm gonna be honest i don't think that they meant for it to look that way i think that was a budget constraint but it works really fucking well, well. That's, that's something that i loved about critters for too is how it, it, because of the budget because it was lit darker the lighting the lighting was dark it's so and good it hid the cheapness of the sets for the most part like yeah aside from like the shower room where it looked like they had just taken a bunch well, of golf it, it course looks grass. like a mini yeah it, it, it looked it like looks a like fucking putter it, it was 
It looked like a mini <laughs> golf course. Weird. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Also, with the fucking showers in the middle there for no fucking reason. So much of Critters Four, watching it again for like the eightieth time, and as an adult now was like wow one i really confused leprechaun and jason x with this damn movie uh two <laughs> everything about this feels uh, like a, a real sci-fi setting like recently i played um mouthwashing demo like i'm excited for that full game yeah release. i kept thinking and, mouthwashing yeah. watching I, and this. i kept thinking about mouthwashing and how like the ship felt like the ship in the mouthwashing demo which i would go and recommend you play if the demo is still up but also the full game is coming out eventually and i i i'm really excited about it uh, and how so much of like that grungy sci-fi was there and present in such a wonderful way. I I even if I don't like Critters 4 because it's overall boring, I respect the decisions in the movie that even if they weren't on purpose, made me care enough to look at everything with an eye. Yeah. Yeah. They had good set design, good acting. It was just horribly misused. It wasn't, it was not for this. The writing is just bad. It's, just, it's horribly written. I, I, I genuinely think I love these movies from the bottom of my heart, even four, and I'm glad I have the Blu-ray box set. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I had I'm some also wonderful glad. Memories. Dude, those, box set's nice. That box set is nice as hell, and it is the quality of those rips is fucking impressive. I, I, I bought it kind of upset because I was like, that's the only way to get fucking Critters 4 on Blu-ray. That's the only way. But now I'm really happy that I spent the money because I 100% am going back to 1 and 2 and maybe 3. 4 can, I can throw it in the garbage and I won't cry. I think it was only 1 and 2 they actually restored. 3 and 4 they did not bother. They Well, they kind of, they, they stretched it. You know, they, well, I mean, like they did like an actual kinda, scan of like one and two. Yeah, they didn't. They three did and a four, they probably scan. couldn't find. I'm sure that's like bur like destroyed. Watch Critters two. What what other what other what other oh God? Because like we did not watch them directly before recording this. What other things can we say about one, two, and three? Especially like you got Leo DiCaprio in three, and also like the big apartment and like the escalating. I love the um the verticality of three because of that. Like. Uh, yeah. I've seen Evil Dead Rise before rewatching three, of course, and like it does feel not the same, of course, because Evil Dead Rise is more verticality down, and I don't think they fully use the apartment building. It's just the one floor and then the the ground floor more more, more so. And like the there's whole one thing that one, two, and three do fucking insanely well, and it's every single one of these movies has a cast of characters that is so 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 likable and endearing. And then four, that's nothing. It. It's just, and uh, then Brad four. Dorf is there and you can point at the screen and go, holy shit, Brad Dorf, that guy plays Chucky and he's also in the X-Files. But, and he's, yeah. but he's not Brad Dorf enough. He's not Brad Dorf enough. He, he, he gets he like two he, lines where he's like. He doesn't dorf it. He, he doesn't, doesn't dorf the critter in the goob hole enough. Captain asshole. Uh, Captain asshole. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't get enough Brad Dorf lines. The visuals of the computer in four are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Ju it just does not go together. That's it. Even for an in space movie, they didn't use, they barely used space. <sighs> is, is Leprechaun in space better? It's probably been so long. I can't make a, a sound judgment, but I think it might be. That's what I was, I was trying to think as we were watching this, because we did talk about it on the commentary track, which we keep talking about. It's, we uh, it should probably say that it, it is available on our store or for one dollar or on Patreon. Yeah, if you want to watch Critters Four, I reckon it would probably be better to watch it with commentary track, because at least there's, there's people being bored with you. <laughs> yeah, there, at least you're not alone, and we kind of we do talk about other stuff. <laughs> of course, we talk yeah. about about other stuff. It's we, 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 there's what, nothing what else there going on. on. <laughs> Oh, the funniest part of Critters 4 is Brennan telling people it's his favorite movie earnestly for 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> so people out there have gotten their big pizza, they've gotten their soda, they've kicked their feet up on the couch, and they've turned on Critters 4 and gone, what the fuck is this? And had a terrible time. I feel like a lot of my life is accidentally causing people to have I hate this guy moments where like and just in general throughout my entire life, <laughs> like 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 my life is just a series of accidental I fucking hate this guy moments where like people are like I tell people something and they're like, Oh, let me check that out. And then like they're at home, they're checking something out, and then they start shaking their fist in the air and yelling, Brendan! <laughs> 
better. But I, I to go back to that, I don't know if Leprechaun Four is better than this. No, Leprechaun Four has the robots it, and the weird shit though. Like it, it just, it, it I will give it the better just because the weird shit. It has it's a bad shit. personality, but it's a personality nonetheless. It's got alien princess wanting to marry the leprechaun for his oh, gold. Yeah, but dude. it's really, it's not as interesting as you're saying. It's really boring. Leprechaun 4 is yeah, really boring. Yeah, but is it walking boring. around the space station and being like talking and talking about nothing? Like cutting from like a scene where like the kid walks up and they're like, so yeah, we're Well, uh, the we're Leprechaun be is in then. the movie, so it's already doing better than Critters 4 where it barely shows up. It's still up. Warwick Davis being a Leprechaun. Yeah. He has a lightsaber. He still chews the scene, you know. Brendan audience challenge. Ooh. If you want to do something very, very funny. What I want you to do is I want you to have a party with your friends. This is this is what I call the crucible. If you want to if you want to test your friends <laughs> oh, oh, no. in an evil way. I call this the Critters Crucible. You have to watch all the Critters movies in one sitting. For Critters 4, bring out a box. Say, hey everybody, for the last movie, it's really, really good. I want you to pay attention. Like it's so good. I need everybody's phones. <laughs> oh you're so that's <laughs> fucked up. That's so fucked up. And have everybody put their phones in the box. You need to the gaslight box. them. You need to gaslight them. You need them. to gaslight them and build them up and say, Critters 4 is yeah. the best. Dude, Critters 4 is amazing. Uh, this Critters Crucible is going to be freaking awesome, dude. I got pizza, Three, bruise, yeah. whatever. Three is kind of slow, but four is the best one of all. We, you can't miss a second of it. And then take everybody's phones. Yeah. Put them in a box. Lock them up with a padlock. Oh. And then put <laughs> them on like Christ. your kitchen table. Put them in your kitchen and just sit down. Now, the thing is, is you will also have to suffer through Critters 4. But yeah, like, but you but you know the, what's coming. The joy of it. Is it joy? You're fucked up. I, I just, if you want to do a little, if you want to do a little evil thing, I just, the Critters Crucible is something that you can do to make your friends suffer and hate you. It'll really test the bounds of your friendship with people if you want to do the Critters yeah. Crucible. Yeah, it will. Challenge your friends and amaze your family with the Critters Crucible. <laughs> Make your dad hate you. Get Gooby to be your dad. <laughs> then give everybody back their phone. Play Gooby. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you? What are you? This is like fucking actual. Go Gooby's torture. gonna look like Triple R after playing fucking Critters Four. Yeah, dude, that's what I. I, I, <laughs> might, I think Critters dude, Four Jesus. actually makes Gooby a good movie. It, it does. Critter watching Critters Four had me <sighs> wanting to go back and watching Gooby. Yeah, that's um, the thing. The real prank was that Gooby came up in the beginning. On the title, and never but then Gooby back. did not ever come back, and that was the real prank. Maybe he'll be back. No, I genuinely wish I just fucking added random pranks in there because it would have at least been funny. Interesting. At least there thing. would have been something. Um, because yes. we're we're talking about the whole Critters franchise as well is something I want to like bring up the differences Misery. between the Critters and what makes them scary versus other little goblin creatures. So versus like gremlins versus like, um, like your hobgoblins or whatever is the, the design decisions between critters and the different other creatures. Like one thing I love about the critters is that they are, even though they're little dudes, uh, they have these sharp rows of teeth. They have their red evil eyes. Uh, um, yeah. and they're, they're, they, they look nasty. They look like nasty little fuckers. You know, they're, they're not the gremlins are nasty, but like they're yeah, but like no, but they they look like evil nasty, you know. Yeah, the critters are an advanced level of nasty. Yeah, they're they're like real bad. They're bad boys. Do they Miami even? Breakdown. Do they talk at all in four? I don't remember. They kind of babbled. A they bit. They did the one. They had the critters line in the hallway one time, and I brought it up early. I'll bring it up again. Yeah, the critters say, "I'll get you. Go get the stuff or the ship. You go get the ship. I'll go get the kids." And that's the right. only time the critters talk because critters do talk. That is the thing. They do talk. They they say fuck. They say shit. No mm, cow in their me. little critters grunts. You are in two, and they have to yeah. fight over what they get for dinner. Where it's like, do we get hamburgers or do we have people? Oh, it's so fucking f yeah. That's good. And they just don't talk at all. <laughs> they have the one line that I forgot and forgot the mention of. Critters four is like a liquid that keeps trying to leak out of my ears. Yeah, it's like my brain trying to protect itself. It's like you just got out of the pool and you were in the pool for too long, and now you got like it feels like you have a little water sloshing around your head. So you're like trying to tilt your head left and right to get the water out but the water won't come out you ever get that oh just me no I, yeah. i've had that happen before no just swimming it won't leave my brain it, it, it's not a joke when we were saying like that we were actually falling asleep like we took like a 30 minute break between recording this discussion and the commentary track and i just really fell asleep i just straight up fell asleep i i, I like fell asleep on the couch dude it's so boring it, it's a great sleep aid if you have like issues sleeping insomnia just <laughs> fucking yep 
pop on Critters 4. And More we'll like Critters Snore. Oh! Whoa! Oh, Put shit. that on the box. It's a great Get sleep those aid. critters to the floor. This shit be a critter's bore. Ooh, Make oh, me fuck. fucking critters snore. Shake me to my critter's core. Is it art or cool? Fuck. Again? Wow. I, I, I know the art or cool. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going to... Okay. As a series, it's cool. But four specifically. Fucking dog shit. I'm four. not going to say. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's cool. Is it trying to be art? I think it's trying to be art. No, no, I think it's just They cool. made it so serious. It's just cool. <laughs> I refuse to adhere to a standard rating system. We have, we have, what do we, we, we abstain for Gooby. Now we have to abstain for fucking critters, really. I'm not, abs- I don't think we should abstain because there's no reason to abstain because it's obviously cool. Because they, you, I don't, you got it the seems cool, like they tried like, to make an art and that fucked it up. Thing. They took it seriously. I don't think so. I mean, you saw I the production they design. They made it art. Yeah. They're like, look at the look at the computer light shine in Brad Dorf's face. But it's like Alien. But have you heard the credits theme? But yeah. Then they were like, this is silly at the end. It's, the credits That's tried to trick undeserved, you. undeserved. They try to be like, wasn't that fun and crazy? It was not. It, like, it actually played a fucking weird, like, co- like a comedy song. Like, oh, l- th- we had some wacky adventures, didn't we? No, fuck you. That's undeserved. No, you wacky don't get adventures. to do that. You weren't quirky. You weren't. But silly. they had the Star Wars trash room. Do you remember the Star Wars trash? Do you remember room? when they pounded on the walls and pushed against them like the walls were closing in? But they said, but it was the walls a, weren't closing in because they said it was a jettison yeah. room. So you know they they just kind of pounded on the walls in a little. Charlie fuck, gets fuck frozen for closet. fifty years, and fifty years later, movies are infinitely more boring. <laughs> oh, you're back, and you're evil because things and change, Charlie. They yeah, it, be, and he kept the face of that like celebrity for all those years uh, I, I'm, I'm out of things to say i it's i'm amazed we had this much to say about critters 4 well that's because we didn't only talk about critters 4 still to be this fair. is still much more than i predicted man what a stinker be you speaking of stinkers by the time this comes out there should be a new poll for which movie which movie we watch for the next episode of pondering i like how you were sound like you were um, to throw up saying that <laughs> yeah like, there's, oh, there'll be another one. Oh, dude I'm, I'm really struggling right now that movie was so bad i'm vomiting in my mouth a bit just thinking about brad dorif you know so uh, fucking what is there there's like there's gonna be stay alive i'm probably gonna add leprechaun in the hood to the poll on patreon because i <laughs> but the know hood, that gonna get no picked. i mean all i'm saying is that i kind of really love that movie it's been a while since i've seen it for what it is it's very fun and very i don't know you know those two and whatever else no matter what we have lep in the hood to look forward to even if it's wow this is really disappointing this is worse than i remember lep in the hood is coming it will be yeah, better than critters eventually. four I don't, I, there, there, there's other things that I'm going to add to the poll. I just need to look at the requests people sent because I don't remember. What, what's the poll going to be? <laughs> oh, fucking no. Uh, between those two. I don't know, Brendan. I haven't checked. <laughs> Put Ernest it's Scared between, Stupid on the poll. That's not a horror movie. It is that a horror is movie. Ernest Scared horror Stupid movie. actually is I mean, a horror I movie. Guess, I guess, but the thing is, Brendan, you keep asking for fucking movies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you, we can't do it anymore. You gotta let other people pick movies. Well, or pick, else some, pick some cool movies then. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep I'll recommending pick, Slop. We have picked amazing movies. Great <laughs> times. Gooby. You goobied me. I critters for you or even. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should just watch Bob's Burgers Halloween specials. Fuck you. Oh, God. Nah, we should. You know what? Honestly, I wouldn't even mind an episode if we did uh, Treehouse of Horror. We should. I can't. Oh, I was those would be that, fun. Actually. Do a few of those, I, actually. I was actually thinking about doing that because I just started watching Simpsons for the first time. Like some of the Treehouse of Horror, like that, it definitely scared me as a kid. Not like real scared, but I was like, whoa, why is Homer Simpson 3D? <laughs> we we could do that, and yeah, I'll, I'll put that on the poll. And then a fourth a fourth thing, I'll I'll I'll. The fourth thing is going to be whatever I whatever request I see on that I think would be good on the thing. Hell yeah. If you want to request a movie for us to check, just comment, I guess. Okay. 
That's uh, yeah. Sorry that's, for critters four everybody. I, uh, I, I, <laughs> I do genuinely apologize. I forgot how bad critters four was. We should have just watched critters two for this episode. See, the thing is, the thing is, I never apologized. What for Gooby? For Gooby? Yeah, you don't have to because Gooby was Go- it, it, we. It, Gooby was like getting Gooby was like getting a shot to prevent the Black Plague or something. We didn't know what Gooby was protecting <laughs> us from at the time. Yeah, oh, we had no idea that God. Gooby Gooby was Gooby Gooby died for our wins. Gooby was inoculating us against Critters Four, and we didn't even know it. Gooby so ran fucked. so that Critters Four could fucking put us in the sarcophagus and lock us up in the movie tomb for the rest of our lives. <sighs> what a poop ass movie! What a bunch of doggy doo doo poo poo. Anyway, what a bunch of diarrhea, fucking liquid. Piss. What a shitload leave a of com- fuck. Leave a comment. Leave a comment telling me what your favorite shelled nut is. What's your favorite shell nut? Yeah, what's your favorite shelled nut? Mandy, what's your favorite shelled nut? I don't remember. Billy, what's your favorite shelled nut? Peanuts. Oh. I really, I really like pistachios. I, why did they become green when they become ice cream? See, what's thought, up with I was, that? I was hoping both of you would say Brennan in a helmet, but I guess this is fine. Ah, ah, goodbye, everybody. Hi, ah. goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you to the band. <laughs> thank you to our sponsors. <laughs> and thank you for listening. We'll see you next month, folks. Hey, thanks so much for listening. This episode would not have been possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Art of Ogden, Beer, Bland But Funny, Boo Poo Brain Soup, Cassandra Crash, Chris Chapman, Christian Van Angen, Dog Named Bear, DX Studios, Echo Stalker, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Geef, Generic Phoenix, Guy Beam, Kawaii Boy Toy, Lambda Man, Leo the Geotech, Mediocre Client, Mr. Starchy, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rat Supreme, Rocco the Raccoon, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, The Frost Ace, Ulbert, Winnie Rab, Will9455, and Woodstock. Thanks so much for listening, and we hope you enjoyed this episode of Pondering Spooky Tapes. What the fuck was that?